Hello everyone, in this video we're going to simplify natural logs. Before we start, I want to talk to you about e. Just like pi, pi, you know pi is equal to 3.14 and this number goes on forever and ever and it never ends. This is called an irrational number and we use the symbol pi to represent that very long number. Well, e is another irrational number e is equal to 2.718 and it goes on forever and ever and ever and we use this symbol the letter e to represent the natural number okay so when I have a natural number and I use logs um, the inverse of the exponential function for example e to the x this would be an exponential function right e is 2.718 raised to the x power so this becomes an exponential function the inverse of this exponential function is the natural log and we write ln and that means natural log and what natural log is 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 just the log of a base e number that's what it stands for now all the properties you have learned for log, they all apply to natural log. And here are two properties I want to go over. When we had log base b of b to the x, that equals x. And this is called the inverse property of logarithms and the inverse property of exponents. This is the logarithm inverse property. Okay, log base b of b equals x. What this means is as long as the base of the log is equal to your argument base, then the whole expression will simplify to x. And here's an example. Log base 4, 4 to the third power is equal to, well, it's equal to 3. It will always equal the exponent. The inverse property of exponents is when you have an exponent, and in your exponent you have the logarithm. As long as the base of your exponential expression is equal to the base of the logarithm, then this whole expression will equal x. Okay, so here's an example. 6 raised to the log base 6 of 2, that will equal 2. These two properties we're going to use for natural log. Natural log follows all the properties of logarithms. So let's go ahead and look at this first one. Simplify. That means make it smaller. A student asked me what's the difference between simplifying and solving? Well when you simplify that means you take an expression and you make it smaller, you make it less complex, you make it simpler. Simplify. When you're solving that means you find the value of x. So when we're simplifying we're not interested in finding the value for x. We're just interesting, interested in making this simpler. So natural log of e to the x plus 2. Remember that natural log we said is the same thing as a log base e. So if I were to rewrite this, you don't have to rewrite it. I just want to show you. If you were to rewrite natural log as log of base e of e to the x plus 2, Notice you end up with this property here, the inverse property of logarithms, where your base and the base of your argument are equal. That means that this will equal the exponent. And in this case, the exponent is x plus 2. So this whole thing is equal to x plus 2. We've simplified it. Finding this value is equivalent to finding this value. This expression is equivalent to that one. Let's do example 2. Here I have e as a base and I have a natural log as the exponent. So that would be the inverse property of exponents, which is right here. It says that as long as the base of the exponent is equal to the base of the logarithm, then that will equal the argument. So let's see. I have e to the natural log of 2x. You can rewrite this. Um, if natural log is confusing, you can rewrite natural log as log base e of 2x. And then it's clearer to see that the base is equal to the base of the log. So this must be equal to the argument, which is 2x. Let's see example 3. I have a base of e. I have a natural log as the exponent. So 
I know I'm going to use the inverse property of exponents. I'm going to use this property that says if the base is equal to the base of the logarithm, which it is, then this whole thing will equal the argument. Now be careful, before we do that, there's a 7 in front of the natural log. And here's where you have to remember the exponent property for logs. For example, if you have log base 3 of x to the 7th power, the exponent property for logs says that you can take that exponent and bring it to the front and you can multiply the logarithm by 7. So this ends up being equivalent. Raising x to the 7th power and then taking the log base 3 of that is equivalent to multiplying the log base 3 of the number times 7. Okay, so this property, very important. When I see this 7 in front of the natural log, I know that this 7 originally was the exponent of this argument. So I can rewrite this as e to the natural log of x to the seventh power. And then remember, by the inverse property of exponents, where the base is equal to the base of the log, then this whole thing will equal the argument, which is x to the seventh power. OK? Natural log of e, another property that we learned when we learned logs. I'm going to write it down here, log of 10. Remember when log doesn't have a base written here, then we can assume the base is 10. And this is called the common log when you have a log base 10. And this is the log that you usually see in a calculator. So when this is 10, which it is, because there's nothing written there, so we assume it's a 10, and the argument is the same value, then this will equal 1. And this makes sense because we can compare this property to this property. The base of the log is equal to the base of the argument, and what's the exponent here for 10? We know that that exponent is a 1. And this property says that this whole expression will equal the exponent. So this will equal the exponent. And in this case, the exponent is 1. You can see it that way, or you, just, you can just learn anytime you see a log that has the same base as the argument, then it will equal 1, unless there's a different exponent here other than 1. OK? OK, so log base 10 of 10 is 1. So the same thing for natural log of e. Remember, natural log is a log base e of e. So whenever that happens, where you have the base of the log equal to the argument, this will equal 1. Or it will equal the exponent of the argument, which in this case, the exponent is 1. I will see you in the next video, where we will see more examples on simplifying.